YouTube, what's going on? This is Solution for the Solution for Kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. So today, today is a delayed review on a sneak I've had for about a week now. So, and um, yeah, I know videos. I allude to a lot of things. So if you pay attention to this video right now, you might know the sneaker that. I'm about to talk about. Time's up. Well, I saw the sneaker got it got released last week. Okay, last week it got released. I said, hmm, I kind of forgot about that shoe a little bit, but I didn't. But I did. I just I wasn't tracking it. So pay attention to the video. Hmm, can't figure it out yet. We're gonna talk about the Jordan 10 Camo. Now, I'm talking about the general release camel version because I do not like the duck camel one. The one is limited, and that's the one everybody's talking about. But, yeah, I'm not feeling that pattern at all. You're doing too much, Jordan Brand. You just wanted something limited, and the hype bees went after it, and those are atrocious. Okay? Now, people who don't like this particular sneaker is it's simply because they, they, they can't sell it. Okay? There's no resale value in it. There's no demand for it. The sneaker is just there. I have no complaints about this sneaker, but I have one suggestion, but we're going to get into it. It came in this very, very nostalgic box. I like this one. They've been using this box quite a bit. It's something different from the usual old school gray and black box. The, uh, you know, the white and the, well, the black box with the gold swoosh and jump man on it. It's something different. I haven't liked this. It's got some iconic things on it. This is pretty cool. It tells a little story and all that good stuff. But we're not here for that, okay? We're not here for that. And I picked up the wrong shoe. As soon as I saw this bag. This is for another video. This shoe. This shoe right here. It happens, y'all. I was going to edit that out, but I'm going to leave that in there. All right, so here it is. Here's the shoe that I left in the other room in the closet because I decided to put the three boxes that I have all together, and I shouldn't have done that. I should have put it back here on the display box. But anyway, when we get through it, retailing at eight hundred ninety dollars. No quick strike, anything like that. Thank goodness. But this is a very, very dope sneaker. Check it out, y'all. Check it out. I already had the hat for it. Y'all have seen this hat in a couple of videos way back in the day, and I was ready for this. Now, one thing I do like about this is that it's pretty much like the battle dress uniform that I wore when I was in the Army, when I joined initially. Well, not initially. When <laughs> my, at the beginning of my career, if you will, I wore this uniform for almost... Mm, 10 years 10 years of my my um my career when i was leaving well the second half of the career i wore that acu that atrocious digital pattern that hollywood loves that didn't camouflage against anything but a cement pit all right that, that was trash that was just some politicians getting contract money to make money off us that that was that that you well it did have some cool features i will say that i, I like the velcro in a lot of places if you took care of it i like the fact you didn't have to starch it and all that stuff but some people did and ruin the uniform it wasn't designed for that otherwise it was a terrible uniform but this was our best uniform i look great in this uniform i would say that you look extra sharp you look really professional with your highly polished boots and you starch on these bad boys so i'm going to talk about a feature if you have been someone who wrote, I don't understand why it's these lines on the pattern. That's stupid. That doesn't make sense. It's called rip stop. So you see right there, see those lines? And I turn, hold on. Let me help you all out. Increase the light intensity right there. See those lines? That's called rip stop. That keeps from you snagging the uniform and it also inhibits tears and things like rip, if you will. So basically, as you drag down the seam, it'll catch one of these lines and it'll prevent it from um, ripping and tearing. It's, it's more durable. Now, it does fade a little quicker because of that. But being though you aren't going to be wearing these every day and the sunlight's hitting it directly, they're going to last pretty well. Um, you got the leather on the uh, high extent of the upper along with some nylon. You know how the Jordan 10 set up. Now, the one suggestion I will have, focus for me, baby. There we go. 
is this jump man should have been red or at least brown all right but i'm cool with the black it works but this is a very very cool sneaker it's also very light that that shocked me how light this sneaker is but the problem it's not a problem for me but the problem some people have said is i, I don't know how you're going to wear this let me i'm just going to say this Either you have fashion sense or you don't. There are times when the sneaker simply will speak for itself. You'll let the sneaker do all the talking. It'll be the highlight of your outfit. I don't even need this hat if I... I got outfits for this already. Hands down. I could do this with or without hat. I have it. I'm ready for this because I love camo. Um, brown cargos, tan cargos, black cargos, joggers denim you name it you could wear a lot of stuff with camo if you pull it off now if you're, if you're someone who likes to hard match you're going to struggle with this sneaker this camo pattern you're going to struggle with it right now i could pull this off i got on denim jean shorts cut off jean shorts jean shorts pardon me and this camouflage hat i am outfit ready i could throw these on right now with this little faded black v-neck i got on and i'm wearing around the house and no one would say a word they would instantly look at my sneakers like Oh, I like how you did that, all right? Now, I would say, well, I would get a newer black V-neck, a newer black V-neck or black T-shirt to pull this off. But, I mean, you could be daring, you could be basic, if you will, like what I have on everything, but the highlight will be the sneakers. Now, the thing is, a lot of people don't like the Jordan 10 because he really didn't wear this. That's the problem. He was retired when the sneaker got released and he has all his accolades on the soul kind of honor him because they weren't sure if he was coming back or not but these are fire day two now you all know that i am a dj i was also on the air for almost two years in san antonio so you know i know hip-hop culture and one of the tenets of the pillars the foundation of hip-hop culture is graffiti street art whatever you want to call it we have quite a few pieces down here on these pillars for the 35 south and 35 North underpasses here at St. Mary's and Elmira, East Elmira to be exact, and Quincy Street. Basically, this uh, underpass right here is bracketed by Elmira and Quincy Street. Very, very cool area. As you see, some of the pieces of work down here, really, really dope stuff. Now, if you saw the video that I was in for MC Square, my, my dudes that rap out here in San Antonio. Make sure you check this stuff, man. Soul Physics. We were right here. If that looks familiar, see the Pinocchio and uh, Big Bad Wolf mural back there? We are over here. And we were also right here. We were also at this pylon right here, but they changed the mural. Some of these things are gone now. But really, really dope. And let's get into this on foot. said enough comment like subscribe tap that notification button you know make sure it's on so you get these videos and I, I got more coming you all i just been busy with class i'm getting focused we actually lost a professor we got a new professor so we basically ground zero the class and now we're doing something completely different and it's been a challenge i am not complaining but I'm just letting you guys know what's going on because i'm gonna be all right okay i'm an honor student uh, i'm fine with this 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 is school i'm good i'll figure it out but i'm out of here Boom.